everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given linear equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx minus 2y by x plus 1 equals to x plus 1 whole cube. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx minus 2y by x plus 1 equals to x plus 1 whole cube which is linear in y right you know that the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y equals to q, right? Here the equation to of dy by dx is 1 plus p, that is minus 2 by x plus y into y equals to q, right? By comparing these two, we'll get p and q, where p equals to minus 2 by x plus 1 and q equals to x plus 1 whole q. Now we need to find the integrating factor. But we know that the integrating factor of a linear equation in y is given by if equals to e power integral p dx Integrating factor equals to e power integral p dx equals to e power integral for p equals to minus 2 by x plus 1 into dx which is equals to e power minus 2 into integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx. Simply we will write the constant outside the integral. Okay. Here minus 2 is constant so we will write it outside the integral. Since we know that integral 1 by ax plus b into dx equals to 1 by a log mod ax plus b plus integral constant c. Then if becomes e power minus 2 into integral 1 by x plus 1 into dx is simply compare these two. Then for a equals to 1, that is coefficient of x is our a. Okay, We have a equals to 1 and b equals to 1. For a equals to 1, b equals to 1, you'll get 1 by 1, that is 1, into log mod x plus 1. Okay. For a equals to 1, we'll get mod x plus 1, right? The same thing. That is a function of x. So this equals to e power minus 2 into log x plus 1 equals to e power log x plus 1 power minus 2 this equals to e power log 1 by x plus 1 whole square Right. We know that e power log function of x equals to function of x. Then you can write e power log this function of x as function of x. Right. So here our integrating factor is 1 by x plus 1 whole square. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of a linear equation is in y.
is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now using this formula, we will find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is y into integrating factor 1 by x plus 1 whole square equals to integral q for q equals to x plus 1 whole cube into integrating factor 1 by x plus 1 whole square into dx plus c then y by x plus 1 whole square equals to integral here 2x plus 1 gets cancelled, okay? Then you'll get x plus 1 into dx plus c. You're having y by x plus 1 whole square equals to integral x plus 1 into dx plus c, right? We can solve our hs or evaluate our hs in two ways. So first thing or first way x plus 1 whole square equals to just split the integral. We get integral x dx plus integral 1 into dx is integral 1 dx plus c which is equals to integral x dx plus integral 1 dx is integral dx plus integral constant c, this equals to integral x dx is x square by 2, plus integral dx is x, plus c. Then, y equals to, take this x plus 1 whole square to RHS, you will get x plus 1 whole square into x square by 2, y equals to x plus 1 whole square into x square by 2 plus x plus c. Okay. Or you can choose a formula since integral ax plus b whole power n into dx is equals to one by a into ax plus b power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equals to minus 1, right? Now compare these two. For a equals to 1 and b equals to 1, we get y by x plus 1 whole square equals to integral x plus 1 into dx is for a equals 1, b equals 1, you get 1 by 1 into x plus 1 power n. Here you have power 1, right? So you get 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1. Plus the integral constant c is equal to x plus 1 whole square by 2 plus c. Then y equals to x plus 1 whole square into this into RHS part x plus 1 whole square by 2 plus c y plus 2 x plus 1 whole square into x plus 1 whole square by 2 plus c into x plus 1 whole square right equals to or then y equals to x plus 1 whole square into x plus 1 whole square is x plus 1 at the powers 2 plus 2 which is equal to x plus 1 power 4 then you will get x plus 1 power 4 by 2 plus c into 
x plus 1 whole square. This completes the problem. So you can use any of these two methods. Okay, fine. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.